So here we have the original set of data. There are a total of 71 data points here, uh, ranging from 0 to 104, as it turns out. And you see it's in some kind of a totally random order. What we're trying to do is find the 90th percentile. And so step one is simple, but it takes you a long time. Step one is you sort the numbers into ascending order with repeats included. Let's go to the formula. So this i is going to tell us where to look. We're going to count to position i. And i is given by this formula. n is the number of numbers that we have, which is 71 in our case. p is the desired percentile, which is 90. We plug them in here. n times p divided by 100, and then we add 0 0.5. So here we are, 64.4. What that tells you immediately is it's somewhere in between the 64th position and the 65th position. So let's locate those. Remember, I've got 60 numbers up to here. So this is 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So it's in here somewhere, my 90th percentile is somewhere between 18 and 20. I'll show you how to do that. So the 90th percentile, it's 18.8. Let's suppose, let's just suppose that two of these data values, somehow there's something suspicious about them and we'd like to get rid of them. For whatever reason, we're going to get rid of 104 and we're going to get rid of 20. Something suspicious about those numbers. All right, so I'm going to get rid of 20, get rid of 104. So now, of course, I've got 69 numbers. Let's do this again. Obviously, you can see what's happened. My median has shifted, not my, my median, my 90th percentile, I'm sorry has shifted from this position down to this position. And now we can just do the details of the calculation. So by removing these two suspicious data points, our 90th percentile has moved from 18.8 down to 12.2.